Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. Hope everyone is well. Um, so yeah, it's been an interesting week. <laughs> and I'm about to explain why I haven't been able to put up any content. I was not able to hang out in my room with my cards for a couple of days, and here's why. So Monday, my son stayed home from school with a sore throat because of current restrictions. He I couldn't send him to school even if it was his allergies or anything. Oh, it's a sore throat. Nope, can't go to school. So I'm figuring even if he's just fibbing just because he doesn't want to go to school, it's fine. It's one day. Fast forward a little bit. Tuesday morning. I wake up with the worst headache I've ever had in my life. Sore throat. My neck hurt. In between my shoulders hurt. And I'm like, I don't know what the heck is wrong with me right now, but this probably is not okay. And my son, his sore throat, he, he the poor kid couldn't talk. So I'm like, okay, great. We're Now we're both sick. So I'm calling the doctor's office and I'm like, okay, what do we do? And they're like, well, you have two different doctors and we can't get you both in on the same day <laughs> because... His doctor didn't have any openings on Tuesday. My doctor isn't there on Wednesdays. So it's like, okay, I'm not making this trip twice. So we just went right to the urgent care. Okay, fine. So we go to the urgent care and they have you sit in your car <laughs> because of everything that's going on. So we were probably in the car for a good 45 minutes, just waiting to be brought in to be seen and because of our symptoms. Okay. So finally they call us and they have us go in the side door of the clinic and we are met by a woman in full PPE gear. And the thought in my head is, oh gosh, no, seriously, it, it's sore throats. It's sore throats and headaches, really. We're really doing this right now. So they take us into a room in like the back part of the clinic where nobody ever goes. And the doctor comes in and it, it's in, it's, I'd say an older gentleman in full PPE gear carrying the sticks, um, strep tests and the sticks. And I think any, I'm not going to say the words. I'm trying to dance around it. Anybody who knows what's going on knows what I'm getting at. So long story short, um, we were in isolation <laughs> in my son's room for two days waiting for a phone call to make sure that our tests came back negative for you know what. So I, I couldn't leave my house. I'm having to send the domestic partner out to pick up groceries and because technically he should have been leaving the house either, but he was symptom free still is no sickness at all. I don't know how, but he's like picking up groceries in my car from random stores and he took my car out to go get it washed and put gas in it and just, just, he's been wonderful for the whole thing. Anyway, I'm finally able to come into my room to read cards <laughs> because on top of the, the, the neck pain and the shoulder pain and the sore throat and the headache, uh, my eyes were weeping and that was the big, okay, this might be a problem. So I had viral conjunctivitis. So my eyes have finally stopped weeping. I can touch my cards again. Long story short, this is where we're at. We're throwing down cards for the weekend top and bottom of the deck reading. And I'm going to try to have my voice hold out for as long as possible. I just felt a need to explain why, okay, why the hell hasn't she posted anything all week? Because I couldn't. Because I was isolated in a room in the other end of my house for a few days just waiting to make sure that we were okay. All right, so... All right, where are we at? Um, it's still Aquarius season, right? Yep, okay. Air signs, okay. For those of you who are new here and don't know how I do this, I go by the elements. It's Aquarius season. Aquarius is an air element. So I'll go around the wheel accordingly. <laughs> if it resonates with your sun sign, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your doing it on mine. I'm just reading cards. If it doesn't resonate with your sun sign, you can check your moon rising, your Venus sign readings. If you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better, just keep in mind time and energy are both fluid. All things can, maybe vice versa. Might even play out for the perspective of a cross watcher. And our dear friends, the cross watchers are always welcome here at the Friday Sign Tarot table. Everybody's always welcome here. Thanks for stopping by while you're in here. If you'd like to subscribe, if you think you might want to see more, you might want to go ahead and do that right now. 
hit the like button while you're at it if you feel so inclined. I'm not going to twist your arm. I'm not here to tell anybody how to live. I'm just here to throw down some cards, which leads me to my next area of business. Two things before we get started. One, if it's not your story, not your reading, not your message, leave the cards on the table and walk away. Don't take what does not belong to you because that's how fights get started and I'm not going to be called home wrecker <laughs> because... I said something that wasn't somebody's situation, but they took it as their situation and, and, and they took it for pay dirt. No, no, no. This is cards. It's, it's a good time. It, it's not to be taken too horribly seriously because ultimately, no matter what the cards say, you dictate your own future by your choices and your actions. Okay. Two, never make any life altering decisions based on a tarot reading. Period. Just don't do it. It's a horrible idea. I read tarot and I'd never in a million years do it. Okay. Anyway. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Um, I don't even know what the date is right now. Uh, we'll just say the 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th. Just take us right through to Tuesday again. Oh. Sorry. My head still hurts a little bit. My throat's still sore, so. But we're powering through. Okay. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. February 5th through the 8th, 2021. What's going on? Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, and Archangels, I ask if there are any messages you have for our air sign friends, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, February 5th through the 8th. What's going on? <sighs> That's never good. Hold on. It's work. Hold on. Yeah, it's never good when work calls when it's a blizzard outside. Anyway. <clears throat> Four of Pentacles reversed. King of Wands upright. Um... Releasing something and moving forward. Nice. That's what I'm going with with that. King of Wands is a hard one. Because he represents so much. Okay? He can represent forward movement in a situation. He can represent a person. There may be a fire sign coming into your life. I don't know. Forward movement. It's passion. It's... Hmm. But ultimately, you really, I think you're releasing something moving towards something. Huh. Okay. What happened? Temperance and the Ten of Pentacles reversed. Temperance represents Sagittarius. Sagittarius is a fire sign. Could be a Sagittarius involved. Doesn't necessarily have to be. Talks about patience. Positive energy flow. I don't understand the Ten of Pentacles reversed then. So we're going to have to throw a clarifier on that because that's a breakdown. That's not bliss. What the hell? Huh. Okay. Fast forward a little. Five of Wands reversed. Judgment reversed. Could be a return. Into conflict. Into conflict after someone returned to your life, maybe? End of conflict. Drudging something up. What's coming in for this weekend? Patience and forward movement. Okay. 
something fruiting, something positive. Release, crossing choppy waters, forward movement. Air signs, what the heck? Sometimes you gotta take positive and negative. It can't always be sunshine and roses. It really can't, that's not life. But, and I, I will say this with, with affirmation, sometimes the most wonderful endings and wonderful blessings came out of the worst situations in your life. <laughs> like in the moment, it could not get any worse. But the outcome was wonderful. So, okay, let's just see what we got going on here. Universe, source, and spirit. Can I get some clarity in the cards and people for my air side and friends, please? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. February 4th through the 8th. Come on. 4th or 5th? 5th through the 8th. It's the 5th through the 8th. What am I doing? It's Friday. It's the 5th, right? Yes, it's the 5th. I don't know where my brain's at. I'm sorry. I do not know where my brain's at. I'm tired. It's been a long week. Why the Ten of Pentacles reversed? Oh, thanks. Somebody coming in and out of your life. So someone you have positive energy with, but they don't stick around long enough to really build anything solid because they're constantly there and gone all the time, maybe? Another fire sign card. Okay. Ends a conflict. Why judgment reversed? Okay. There's three of them. And they bounced and flipped. Okay, they were supposed to flip. I'm taking them flipped. Strength reversed, Queen of Swords reversed, Moon reversed. <sighs> Things coming to light, bad attitudes. Why strength reversed? It flipped in my hand. Emperor reversed. Cowardice. Hum oh, humbleness, vulnerability. Why Queen of Swords reversed? Ace of Wands upright. Cutting the crap. Another card representing fire. Emperor is an Aries card. Strength is a Leo card. Ah! Well, you're all on the table. Okay. I just got Pisces hanging out.
Some things were revealed with this return. Someone maybe had to humble themselves, try to put an end to conflict. Okay. Not going to beat that dead horse anymore. Why the Seven of Pentacles? Six of Swords reversed. I see why you're releasing and moving on. Something's coming back to see what's fruited. Well, that took a long time to tell a short story. But sometimes you gotta get the backstory. Eight of Swords. All anxious. Worrying, what's the air sign? What's the air sign up to? Are they going to take me back? They're all worried. Why are the Six of Swords upright? Nice of sorts. Nice. Well, more with the in and out junk. Because they're going to come back, see what's fruited, leave again, but still continue to watch you. That's lovely. That's great. Watching from afar. High Priestess, because they still have that connection with you. You're releasing it, though. But they want that connection. I don't think this is a connection that is so easily broken. And there was positive energy, but the only issue was they were constantly in and out of your life. You want somebody that's going to stick around. Okay, fair enough. All right. Air signs, that's what I have for you. I don't think I'm going to do advice. I really don't. I think you know what you're supposed to do. This is what could potentially happen. You know what you're supposed to do. Oh, you know what? One card won't hurt. King of Cups in the Tower. King of Cups Reverse Tower. Three of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. Towers aren't always bad. Towers are not always bad. They're really not. It's, it's sudden and abrupt change. It's all it is. It's the universe calling for something to change. Right here. Right now. Because for whatever reason, we're not doing it ourselves. So it's not necessarily a bad thing. You make it the catastrophe it becomes. That's a part of, you know, it's your destiny. It's your choices. It's your free will. Three of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. That's beautiful. Wait around for your catch to come in. Your ship. Your ship. The one that's going to treat you like the Queen of Pentacles you are. The one that's going to stay in the dock. Not leave again. But that's just what I got out of that. Okay. Clean up our mess here. Move on to our water sign friends. Oh my goodness. I 
feel like garbage, guys. I wanted to finish up the sets this week. Apparently, apparently the universe had other plans for me this week. So I'm not going to cry too hard about it because there's a reason for everything. And I'm a firm believer that there's a reason for everything. So, okay. Oh my goodness. Water signs, Care to Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. The tower reversed is wands. Rebuilding the tower and starting over, starting fresh. Passionate new beginnings. That sounds like a do over to me. All right. Second chances. What happened? Two of Pentacles reversed, five of Pentacles reversed. Something didn't change. Somebody came in out of the cold. Hmm. Okay, fast forward a little bit. Two of Wands reversed, Ten of Cups reversed. Somebody not able to let go and move forward. Somebody wasn't happy. A cycle didn't complete. A happiness cycle didn't... Okay, what's coming in this weekend? Two of Swords reversed. Sorry, the Two of Swords upright. The Chariot upright. The difficult decision to move forward. So you starting over with somebody new or are you doing a do-over? Because I'm confused. Let's throw some clarity down. I think it might be one of those split readings. Thanks, guys. Possibly some of you have been unable to move forward. And you're finally moving forward towards something new. We'll see. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity in the cards on the table for a water sign? Friends, please. Can't spicy Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. February 5th through the 8th. Why do you shuffle and cut the deck if you're just going to let him fly? Because that's how I do it. That's why. You're acting like you wanted to talk. We'll wait. See if it comes back out. I think that card had something to say, just not quite yet. King of Pentacles reversed. Ace of Cups, Nine of Swords. Oh, wow. Okay. You guys see that? You see that? Two aces. Someone might not have been the person they presented themselves to be in the past. Or, or someone 
downtrodden, not quite feeling like they're self-worth issues for somebody. I think somebody may have been presented with a cup and they agonized about taking it because of self-worth issues, possibly. And this, and we've had this conversation multiple times too. Um, history only repeats itself when you allow it. Well, the last one didn't turn out so good, so this one's not going to turn out so good either. Don't manifest that kind of crap into your life, guys. Come on. Because you only repeat the same cycle over and over again if that's what you choose to do. Why is the Two of Pentacles reversed here? Four of Wands. Things not changing. There's still that connection with someone. I think, yeah, in this instance, the Four of Wands is a card of connection. It's like that, that, I hate this phrase, to inflame, if you believe in that sort of thing. There's a lot of different ideas of exactly what that term means. So, <laughs> I've done a lot of research. I'm still very confused by it. I'm more inclined to believe that your twin flame is when your soul splits to take care of all your karma. Mm. I don't know. I don't think it necessarily has to be a romantic thing. But definitely the connection. Feelings didn't change because there's still a connection. Well, more on that Four of Wands. Why the Four of Wands? Oh, hi, Queen of Wands. Wands, Wands, Wands. Yep, that's a connection. Sugar and spice and all things nice. I dropped that. We're putting that back. Why the Five of Pentacles reversed? You want to talk? Seven of Swords. Someone trying to come back in without the purest of intentions. So, this is a return card for me. And I'll, I'll tell you why. It's not only the, the sneaky jerk face card. It's a card of return. He's only got five swords in his hand. Okay? Which means he left two swords behind. This is the jerk ex that left their socks in your sock drawer and they, they came back for him. Okay? Or they're coming back for him. This is somebody that never quite leaves. They always leave something behind. Just to have an excuse to come back to have to deal with you. Or for you to have to deal with them. Somebody tried to come back without the purest of intentions. Could have been... A sugar and spice and all things nice, but not so nice scenario, too. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Picking up what I'm putting down. I'm dancing around it so the words don't have to come out of my mouth. <laughs> Why the two of wands reversed?
Ten of Swords, Chariot, King of Swords, Knight of Cups reversed. Wow. Sometimes it gives me four cards. Somebody not wanting to let go, move forward. Somebody's not happy. Worst of it's over. You're processing, or you were processing. Ten of Cups reversed, you're not exactly the happiest, but the worst of it is over. The painful part was over. You were just struggling with the moving on. Why the King of Swords? Karma. Judgment. Making the judgment call, possibly to cut this person out of your life. To finally allow the cycle to end and allow something to die so something else can be reborn. But in the process... Lack of self-worth, lack of happiness, wondering if someone's ever going to fill your cup again, or being afraid to take a cup. All right, let's get this show on the road. Why the Two of Swords? Strength. Yeah, it does take a great deal of strength and courage to make a decision like that. That's not just your relationship with somebody else. That's your relationship with yourself. That's your relationship with your higher, your higher power, God, source, whatever you choose to call it. That's trust. I like it. Why the chariot? It came out sideways. Why the sideways two of pentacles? Queen of Swords reversed. You're moving forward. You're allowing change. Change within yourself. You're cutting this person out. You're allowing the forward movement. I like it. I like it. far of a movement, distancing yourself from this situation. Because that's really the only way to deal with this. Because this is flipping me out. I don't like that. There's something new and wonderful waiting for you, but you're so hung up. Don't be so hung up. Let's get some advice for you. The world reversed and the strength reversed. This cycle will not come to an end until you gather the strength to end it. This cycle will not come to an end until you gather the strength to end it.
Three of Swords reversed. Eight of Wands reversed. That's better. The Hermit and the Eight of Cups. <laughs> Sometimes I gotta pull a couple more cards because I don't know what the first two are talking about. So. It's time to take a long, deep, hard look inside. Find that inner light. Do that healing. Walk that path. The path that you've been avoiding to walk. Move forward. Leave the cups behind you. It's painful. It sucks but you got to do it because on the other side of that mountain, on the other side of that lake, river, stream, whatever, there's happiness, but you just have to find it. You just have to find it. And that's path. It's the path to having that King of Pentacles right side up again. Hmm. Okay. Whoa. Fire signs. I think we're going to move on to you. I'm just hoping my voice holds out because this is taking a little bit longer than it normally does. Okay, fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. The magician came out. Temperance came. Oh, wow. Oh, wait, that's the lovers. I thought it was temperance. Yeah. Could be Gemini, could be Aries. Involved. All right, Aries, Lou, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, February 5th, 38th. If it's setting off alarms, might be your reading. If it's not, might not. All right. Lovers reversed, three of swords reversed. Pardon me. Meh. I don't think you're all that heartbroken about a disconnect. Not by the looks of things. We'll throw the rest of the cards down, but... What happened? Ace of Wands, King of Swords, passionate new beginning. Heavily guarded, lack of emotion, maybe, with this King of Swords. Not allowing yourself to get emotionally involved, maybe. And after that, Three of Cups, Ten of Cups, are reversed. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. The lovers reversed. I think in the moment, you weren't so happy about it. There's three people in this card. I understand. It's the three of cups, but still. If 
Fire signs, I don't think you got picked. And I think in the moment you weren't so happy about it. What's coming in for this weekend? High Priestess. Uh, hanged Man reversed. What's going on? Universe Source and Spirit. Can I get some clarity in the cards? This from a fire sign. Friends, please. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, February 5th through the 8th. Pentacles. So you're not heartbroken, but you're holding a grudge. Why the four pentacles? Now I'm confused. Ace of Cups, Emperor. Oh, okay. Okay. Pardon me, I was wrong. Emperor, Ace of Cups. You're waiting to give the cup to the right person. You're waiting to receive the cup from the right person. You're hanging on to it. You've come to the conclusion that this wasn't the right person. Why the Ace of Wands, King of Swords? Six Cups reversed. Why the six cups reversed? Something left a bad taste in your mouth. A little salty. Nine of Pentacles reversed. You didn't get emotionally involved. Is that why you chose to not get emotionally involved? Did you know this wasn't stable from the beginning, fire signs? What? You went in very heavily guarded. I ended up getting a bad taste in your mouth. It wasn't going to go anywhere. Okay. Why the Three of Cups? This is the past. I don't know how long ago this was, just so we're clear. This could have been a minute ago. And it's Mercury Retrograde, first retrograde of 2021. We all know what happens during a Mercury Retrograde. Your toaster breaks, your car won't start, and people you haven't wanted to talk to in years suddenly send you a text message or an email or a phone call. Six of Pentacles. <sighs> Equal give and take. Why the Six of Pentacles? Shadow side reversed. And it just kind of flew out, landed pretty much where it was supposed to go. 
Wow. Whoever this was, was very into you both. That's the card of equal give and take. This is some kind of weird scenario. Wow. Why the shadow side reversed? Eight of Cups. Disconnected, moved on. That's... I think you were just like, you know what, forget this. <laughs> forget this. You got to pick somebody. <laughs> because I am walking away. Why the Ten of Cups reversed? Queen of Cups reversed. <sighs> Given no love. Nope. One more. Wow. Wow. Fire signs. Wow. All I have to say is wow. Tide of Wands reversed. Hit the road. That's the I, I don't care if I ever see your face again card. That. Bye. Bye. All right. So coming in for this weekend, this is this is the part where your toaster breaks and people come back to haunt you. Why the high priestess? Oh, wow. I laugh because I find it amusing. I find it amusing. There's still a connection. There's still a connection with this person. Could be a 5D thing, but it's still very much there. One more. the moon and I don't think either one of you know why I think that's yet to be illuminated it's mysterious hmm could have something to do with a moon phase the full moon was, what, last week? I think it was last week, wasn't it? I don't know. I'd have to look. I think it was last Friday. Yeah. Pretty sure. Or was it two weeks ago? I don't know. I don't even know what day it is. All I know is it's Friday. That's all I know. <sighs> Faces of the moon. Things to be illuminated. Huh. Could be a Pisces or a Gemini. I think you still, I'm going with you guys are trying to figure it out. Super weird. Why the hangman reversed? Stop beating the dead horse, Faith. Just move on. I dropped that. We're going to try that again. Why the hangman reversed? String reversed. <sighs> Somebody's been feeling a little emotionally hung up. Somebody's vulnerable. Somebody might be trying to get up courage. Justice. Tower reversed. Level the playing field. Rebuild the tower. 
fire signs, do whatever you're going to do with it. I'm, I'm leaving it there. I'm leaving it there. Let's catch your advice. Yeah, I'll give people advice today. Five of Cups reversed. Ten of Wands reversed. You need... Don't drudge this up again. Do not allow this to be a burden anymore. Do not park your butt by that river tears and cry about this anymore. Don't. Don't take this back on. <coughs> Cherry verse seven of pentacles. If you choose to take this back on, it may take a whole lot of patience for anything to fruit back up again. Six of Wands, King of Wands. Hmm. If you choose to allow this return, make sure you establish boundaries and ground rules and make sure you are extremely clear on how you want things to go. Mm. The King of Wands is a man who, well, mm. He lives life by his own set of rules and he lives life his way. So make sure that you set clear boundaries on what you want out of this situation. Sun reversed, eight of pentacles reversed. Don't put energy into an unequal connection. Don't. Okay, fire sign. I gotta go take a break. So I'm gonna pause, clean up my mess and come back for our earth sign friends. Hold on just a couple of minutes. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. February 5th through the 8th. What's going on with you guys? We had this horrible storm here last night. Schools are canceled all over the place. Good thing my son's still in bed. I mean... <laughs> He's still not feeling the greatest, so I probably would not have sent him to school today anyway, but at least he'll have today and the weekend to rest up and catch up on his homework, and Monday he can resume normal life again. Anyway, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, February 5th through the 8th. Okay. Four of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. I love that. I love that. Quick tarot lesson. The tarot is a journey. It is the steps along the journey. The four comes after the three. The three of swords is the heartbreak. The four of swords is the laying it to rest. And taking that fourth sword and doing whatever you're going to do with the situation. Cutting the person out of your life. Guarding your heart. You're laying something to rest. Because you have something new and abundant coming your way. Hmm. Possibly a new offer. We'll, we'll get a look here in a second. But I like it. 
In the past, Six of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. Equal give and take in a relationship and a full cup. Huh. Hmm. Okay. It was new. It was different. It was equally matched. Okay. Could have been an earth sign. Could have been a water sign. Could have been an air sign. What happened after that? Prince of Cups reversed in the Fool. Hmm. Did the Prince decide to take their cup back and go off and do something else? That's what I'm getting out of that. Hmm. Could have been a sudden drop off in communication. Hmm. Okay. It's coming in for this weekend before we get some clarity. High Priestess reversed, death reversed. Huh. Okay. Could be Taurus, could be Scorpio. High Priestess can also represent Aries or Gemini for me. Huh. Huh. Okay. Oh, egos and lack of change, maybe? Hmm. Hmm. Why am I getting egos and lack of change and growth? Lack of evolution. Universe, source, and spirit. Can I get some clarity on the cards in the table for my earth sign friends, please? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. February 5th through the 8th. 2021. Is it really going to be six weeks of this? <laughs> is it really? <laughs> is it really going to be six weeks of this, guys? Broken toasters and text messages you don't want to read. as long as you know what you don't want coming back into your life, right? Okay. Wow. Okay. Karma and the Nine of Wands reversed. Throwing in the towel, allowing a cycle to end so new cycles can begin. Laying things to rest. The Nine of Wands reversed is my card of I'm not picking up the tenth stick. I'm ending this now. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Fine. Why is the Six of Pentacles reversed here? Or sorry. Why is Six of Pentacles Ace of Cups here? Why the Six of Pentacles Ace of Cups? Six of Wands. Who's victorious? Who's amazing? Person could have been a little bit cocky, possibly. Why the Six of Wands? Hi. Three of Swords Reverse. This might have been somebody. I'm not catching. The only in and out energy, in and out of your life energy, is this Prince of Cups reversed. It's not, it's not the Knight of Wands, but it's a wand card. So I'm thinking this may have been a return.
but maybe. I don't know. Or, or it was your return. You're trying to get back out there. You're trying to nurse a broken heart. It was equal. It was new. It was finally an equal give and take situation. You were on top of the world. You were nursing a broken heart. Fast forward. Fast forward. Why the Prince of Cups are reversed. Roll reversed. Death reversed. I think this is like the theme of the day. The only one with the power of the end of the cycle is you. The only one with the power to end the cycle is you. They dipped out of your life. They decided to go off elsewhere. No closure. No evolution. Just over. Or was it? Why death reversed? Two of Wands reversed. You couldn't let go. You couldn't let go. No closure. Why the fool? Or they couldn't let go. Somebody couldn't let go of something. Maybe they had to go clean up some business elsewhere. Hanged man. Moon reversed. Truths coming out. Sudden jumping off the cliff, accepting the situation for what it is. Why the hanged man? Whoa, four swords reversed. <clears throat> I think you were finally able to see this for what it was or this person for how they were you were finally able to see what you didn't want to see because you were on top of the world, you were nursing a broken heart. You didn't want to see it, and then all of a sudden it was over. And you had to see it for how it was. You're finally able to lay it to rest. Why the High Priestess reversed? <sighs> Page of Wands upright, High Priestess upright, Three of Pentacles. Reversed. <sighs> Following one's intuition. In regards to someone's ego. In regards to their behavior. Their lack of stability. Their lack of foundation. You're finally using your instincts in regards to the situation. I like it. You're laying it to rest. You're not picking up the tenth stick. Why death reversed? Three of 
Three of Cups. Nine of Cups. One more. It's a third three. Magician. You're finally understanding that this person is not going to change. I get three threes. One, two, three. Could be a third party situation. Yeah, but nonetheless, you're filling your cups with positive things. You're manifesting what you want in your life. And that's the important part. You're laying it to rest. You have new abundance coming your way. And we're going to concentrate on seeds that are meant to grow. I like it. I like it a lot. Seven of Wands reversed. Nine of Swords upright. Excuse me. Don't get all wrapped up. And having to know the truth of a situation. Don't do that. Don't lose sleep over this. It's not worth it. Prince of Swords reversed Five of Cups. Don't get all upset over block communication either. Sometimes, and don't worry about them being upset if you block them. <laughs> You need to do what's right for you. And if not dealing with this person anymore is right for you, well, hey, that's fine. Don't rebuild a tower with a connection that wasn't meant to last. Seven of Pentacles, shadow side reversed, and be patient. Be patient with yourself as you disconnect from the toxicity of this situation. Okay. Don't go off and do something half cocked because you want to get over it in a big hurry. Don't do that. You need to have patience with this because you're just going to repeat the same cycle over again. All right, guys. I love you guys. Thanks for coming by. Hopefully I'll feel better over the weekend get some readings knocked out. I'm, I'm hoping to be able to today. So, all right. Take care. Love you. I'll see you Tuesday.